So if you look at the, today's media uh, landscape in Asia Pacific, there are few areas that really stands out uh, because purely because Asia Pacific is a massive uh, region covering 36 nations, representing 60% uh, of the global population. So it kind of brings a diverse digital maturity, which region that we are in. Some markets are really mature, some markets are still emerging. Second is that the economic growth that brings the ability for both the consumers as well as the, the operators to be able to spend more, more budget on media technology and media spending. Uh, in particular, Indonesia Pacific represents 70% of the global GDP growth in the past 10 years. Third point to, to talk about is the technological advancement. The youthful and tech savvy population is rapidly adopting new digital media technologies, which actually gives the ability for consumers to consume content anytime, anywhere, over any network, using any device. The fourth one is the wide uh, dis uh, deployment of the broadband connectivity. It's not just about fixed broadband, but also brings the, uh, the broadband over in the wireless uh, access. The final one that I would like to talk about is the, uh, the availability of massive amount of digital media services, which in essence is a good thing and a bad thing. It's good that consumers have more choices, but it also brings challenges because there's so many choices to choose from. If you look at, again, Asia-Pacific pay TV landscape, the operators now have to embrace a traditional TV service combined with the digital media services as a unified offering. The starting point is really uh, the enhancing the content aggregation. So when we say content, it's not just about linear TV content. It's also about various uh, you know, non-linear content, as well as a premium and regional apps that combine into a unified uh, user experience. The second one I would like to talk about is the adaptation of the unified approach. Pay TV is no longer a linear TV service. The unified experience of combining linear and non-linear is actually becoming ever more important. The third one is the diversity of our revenue streams. Traditionally, pay TV operators have been relying on subscription revenue, but the operators now have to find new revenue sources, including advertising and a lot of the transactional uh, services. And number four is the optimization of the operational efficiency. Now the technology is more moving more towards a cloud-based operation, which brings a lot of the scalability, agility, and being able to uh, scale at large. So you know, operational efficiency will not only provide the efficient delivery of the video services, but also bring the cost benefit. The final one is, of course, the uh, driving user engagement. In essence, that's the most important aspect of the uh, pay TV operator's challenge. Because in the end, it's not just that paid subscription that's going to drive the success. It's more of a enhanced user engagement, which will drive a lot more revenue coming from transactional as well as advertising sponsored revenue sources. One of the themes that we bring in to uh, Broadcast Asia 2024 is uh, what we call our data experience uh, model. Uh, it pr really provides operators to be able to aggregate content across multiple sources. That includes a linear TV content, VOD assets, premium and local applications into a single unified uh, platform. Second one is that we provide a streamlined operational capability. Our data experience that really simplifies the video streaming backends, reducing fragmentation and optimizing vendor uh, interactions. Third one is the personalized user experience. Of course, being able to provide uh, enhanced user experience that involves a lot of the understanding of the user behaviors, as well as the personalized con content recommendations. The fourth one is the uh, using advanced analytics, using uh, 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 really data analytics as, as a tool to really understand each consumer's user behaviors, their patterns, their preferences, and their intentions. The solution will be able to provide a lot more uh, customized uh, recommendation for each, each consumer. The final benefit that our data experience brings to pay TV operators is really enhanced security. As you know, our data comes from uh, over 50 years of uh, experience in protecting content. Uh, our data experience as a whole offers a robust security solutions to protect not only the content across multiple platforms, 
but it also provides the solution to combat piracy very effectively. Basically, we bring six main areas that uh, support operators in this transition, this transformation towards super aggregation and becoming market leaders. The first one is, of course, bringing applications, content, linear and uh, uh, VOD content into one platform. This is what we call super aggregation. And our value to the market is really bringing it that in a seamless way, make it easy for them to capture everything into one single platform with all the features in it. The second one is about helping them with their operational efficiency. Basically, um, we bring two of the biggest platforms in the market, which is Android TV and RDK, and we leverage on the innovation and investment of these platforms to help operators to go faster to market and to reduce the cost of ownership. The third one is about bringing advanced monetization capabilities. The fourth one is about uh, bringing a, bet, a better and enhanced user experience. And this can go across the board from the user interface to basically making sure that there's uh, advanced personalization and recommendation for consumers to become more engaged and stay longer in the platform. This helps operators to retain customers and to attract new subscribers. The fifth one is about uh, actionable, ac actionable data and analytics. And this is really about making use of the power of analytics from your platform, learning what your subscribers are watching, how they, how they are watching, and then invest back, implement this information into your strategies. And the sixth one is something that comes, it resonates pretty close to a uh, core, core um, capabilities, and it's basically enhanced security. So it's very important to be able to provide these platforms to the market in a secure manner. I think what um, really makes Iredeto stand out from other companies providing similar solutions is our uh, broad capabilities, our experience, uh, and the way we work with our, our customers and our partners. So we bring a strong capabilities in end-to-end -end system integration. So beyond just bringing this solution to the market, we are able to work with um, strategic partners across the region to bring this into a unified uh, a proposition, so then it's much more simpler to work with these such as solutions. Uh, the second one is about scalability and flexibility. We understand that operators are growing in the market, uh, so for us it's uh, very important to design these solutions in a way that we can grow with the success of the operators. Uh, another area that is very important is about a mar market expansion. A lot of operators are moving beyond the geographic boundaries and to be able to do this in an efficient manner, we have designed this uh, technology in a very light uh, way to focus on, on cloud technology so that we can really support them in their expansion. Um, another area is very, uh, very important in the way we have designed the solution. It is very user-centric. It's really focusing on bringing the best experience to the end user, to the subscribers. And it's something that brings us pretty close to the business of our uh, customers and partners. Something that is very important about Ireto as well is uh, we provide, uh, in addition to the solutions that we have brought to the market, we also provide managed services. And this is very important in an industry that is somehow going through a transformation where we see a lot of different um, capabilities that have been left, let's say, in the past and they need to be still addressed and managed. This is something that we can bring a lot of value to help operators to focus on their core business and keep growing. And finally, I think it's something um, uh, something very important for Merdeto is that we are a global player, but with a regional capabilities to bring a specific strategy and a specific support to our customers.